Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this Bloomberg interview with James Pollard. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. Do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have already. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to go over why I think uh, this CPI data or more so what the Fed is going to do with this data. Why it could turn the market bullish. Uh, why we should be able to uh, hold this uptrend similar to what we did on the last CPI data that was released. And no discussions of tapering and whatnot uh, began. So a lot of people have been worried about inflation and whatnot uh, rising so in the Fed dis to start discuss tapering so we'll get into this interview in a little bit so this will be released at 8 30 a.m. tomorrow morning uh, Eastern time the last one was released on March 10th I'm gonna look into why I think this might turn the market uh, market a little bullish if we go back to March 10th here on torch uh we started the li nice little uh uptrend and the market sold off again fears ensued once again if we look at zom here uh also on march 10th to the 11th 12th to pretty much the 16th uh had a nice little uptick and that's pretty much with all the tickers in the market if you want to check some other ones out just start at the 10th and you'll see that they kind of gradual uptrend after uh this was released and they they so we'll just get into why uh more on this interview i guess so they expect it to increase, but they think it's going to be hard to interpret uh, because they look at the year to years, and usually when it increases, they think uh, that it's that it's bad and inflation is on the rise. So they need to start doing things to fix that. So uh, they think it's going to be hard to interpret because of the pandemic, and they think it's going to be that way until the second half of, of 2021. So that that kind of gives us a timeline more so as when they'll start looking uh, harder at this data because uh, they can get a more feel of if it's really uh, inflation is getting out of hand or not. Uh, so they they kind of discuss what are some things to point to uh, once to when they are going to start looking at this data harder. And it says uh, 75 percent, 75 to 80 percent vaccinations. So if we look at some numbers real quick here, this is from the CDC. Uh, 22 percent are currently vaccinated. Uh, this is from uh, WebMD. On April 3rd, they had their uh, new record for 4.1 million vaccinations in a day. So if we do some math here, um, 22% currently vaccinated, 331 million people. 22% of that is 72.8 million. The goal is uh, for 80 to 75 to 80% is 24.2 uh, million vaccinated. So we still need 175 uh, million vaccines needed to reach our goal of 75 to 80%. Uh, if 4 million, which is the uh, new daily record, this isn't the average yet, but I, I expect we'll get better and better, so I just took the best number. Uh, we'll be, it takes 90 days to reach the goal because two days doses are needed. Uh, they also He also points to in this interview, they will need a CDC update for more free, looser guidelines. So it's not just going to be all dependent on these numbers. It's also going to come from uh, CDC saying, yeah, you're good to go. And once everyone's vaccinated, say they do it in this 90 days, it's still a little bit of a time period i believe till you're like actually vaccinated so i think similar to this 10th date we will see an uptick but i think uh we'll be able to hold it more instead of a sell-off because fears won't ensue we have a little bit more uh hard dates and stuff and more like hard numbers that the fed is going to look at uh to when there's they're, they're going to start looking to see if they need to uh adjust due to inflation so yeah do with that what you will i think we have a good chance to start turn, turning bullish soon uh be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. I'll see y'all next time.